since its inception more than 30 years ago, Hydroform has been at the forefront of soil cement technology. The Hydroform system is different from conventional bricks in that it replaces regular used bricks and mortar with Hydroform blocks that interlock and are dry stacked. Hydroform machines produce the innovative interlocking soil cement block system that is made from sifted soil and 10% cement mix. This unique design makes it a very special product indeed, designed to withstand the harsh African climate and the seismic occurrences that sometimes reduce traditional brick and mortar buildings to a pile of rubble. The Working on Fire Hydroform project is a project implemented by the Working on Fire Management to use as an exit strategy for the Working on Fire candidates. With the utilization of this technology, candidates can be empowered or will be empowered to open up their own businesses in the communities, taking this technology and hopefully uh, forming sustainable construction companies down the line. The technology is a simple, easy technology that's been utilized in many countries internationally that when this technology is taken back into the communities, uh, we can address housing shortages amongst other things um, that can be used to create sustainable businesses. So there are many pluses um, of which time and material cost savings are imperative. I mean, that's where we can derive definite benefits using this technology system. Now, the hydroform is unique in, in many respects. The first of all is that it uses the soil exactly where you are. You don't have to buy bricks. You actually make the bricks with the soil where you are living, provided that we have about 30% clay content. And if we do not have that, we can always supplement the local soil with a bit of clay. And this builds a brick through an hydraulically powered machine, which is as strong as any of the bricks that we build the houses that you buy at your hardware stores. So you have about a seven MPA rating for these bricks, but they're larger and denser, so much so that they're actually bulletproof. But I think there are much more interesting contributions in the house that we've built here in Nalstrad. We found that the thermal qualities are such that on a very hot day, the temperature inside the house is as much as 16 degrees Celsius cooler. So it keeps the interior much cooler than the outside temperature. And in the cold mornings, it's actually warmer inside than the outside temperature. So it's a very important thing in terms of thermal qualities. In making this brick, we mix the soil with a ratio of about one part of cement to 12 parts of soil. So this is a very economical way of us dealing with it building the bricks, and this in turn translates into about a 13% saving in terms of a carbon footprint. And I think the other important point to recognize is that these bricks are like Lego. You sort of build them on top of one another, and you don't actually have to put cement in between them. So there's another huge saving in terms of not having to use that amount of cement, and of course the impact on the carbon uh, quality of, of, of the, the construction. Since its launch at the Kishugu Training Academy in February 2021, the Hydroform Building Project has added knowledge, skills and experience to the lives of the participants involved. So the training is started already. We did block making, we finished with uh, block making, curing everything. Now we're starting the building, which building is down there. We started with the uh, first course. Now we do the superstructure walls now. Uh, what is uh, important on hydroform is to get the first course leveled and plumbed. So it what they are doing now. It's uh, very important to do the first course in a uh, in a proper way. So as I say, we started the training. Uh, my trainees are good, uh, very well, well trained. Uh, everyone's got skills, so uh, they will be really guided when they go home and build their house or train more people in our system. I want to thank Wolf, which is my company, uh, that uh, gave me this opportunity to come here and uh, to learn how to 
build a brick or how to manufacture the brick, uh, which is called a lock, a interlocking brick. Eng bingelelo wangumuntu ikamalam nguzama wanchancha from vacation base. Mbonga kuli tuba tewa ufanye polo na mosha logo singe zipiro building construction. As well, we know what building construction is about, guys. So mbonga kuli tuba singa tola na mosha ugu na mingwa zugenza. Benga gwa zuguti ifu wenzi building utinga mama jamensi arrive so na mosha niyaz mbonga kuli off. So. The savings that you want is, is up to 15 to 25% cheaper than building a similar house construction. And what we've done with our firefighters at the academy is to start from scratch, from laying the basic slab on which the house is built, building the bricks themselves, curing it with water over a period of about two weeks, and then building it very quickly, because once you've got the Lego system going and the bottom layer is where you use some cement to keep it attached to the uh, concrete uh, bottom. You simply pack them together and get them working like a Lego system and building the wall. And it works very, very fast. You literally are able to build a house like this from scratch within one month. And we've got a house which is larger than a RDP house about 45 square meters house, and it's two bedroom. You have a lounge area, you have a kitchen area, a shower, toilet area, as well as a small little porch at the front. So we believe that this is one way of empowering our firefighters to be able to address the housing needs that they are confronted with, and hopefully also empower them to become construction uh, activists in their own communities able to deliver this kind of housing. This project forms part of working on fire strategy to equip participants and unlock further opportunities outside the Working on Fire program.